between Ben and I and Hans. Um, well, you know, I think that it, it is best art reflects life, and so clearly me. But if we're just dealing, you know, with the with the art side of it, obviously our characters, you know, you're meeting them in a, you know, my character is still me. Uh, in a very capable position to be undoubtedly. Again, me. me. I mean, we can put it to the we test right now. We can put it world. to the test right it now. Depends on what kind of. Oh, they're kind delicious. Of Moses are amazing. You can get them. <laughs> um, <laughs> so good. <laughs> I'm eating it. I'm eating it. Isn't it good? <laughs> these are them. Ah, very good. The most. Yeah, is it? Mm-hmm. I'll say these are the samosa with the most. <laughs> you just eat this like this? I don't need any water. Or... I think you're the one who's kind of strong enough to open it for a It does taste like maybe it goes the tricksters. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, give me one. Even cold water at this point. Yeah. Why is this happening? Why are you putting this? Now it's on. A little coconut sticky rice or just sticky rice? I, you know, I just, I just want to say that I've, I've, I've tried all these before. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Go down, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Oh, okay. All of this is really good if it weren't being served to us the way it's been. coming up. He was in my room. He skipped lunch. Don't forget to check out the Triple Frontier on Netflix. The Triple Frontier. Let's let's call the name. Let's at <laughs> least make, let's at least get the name of the movie right. Memories. Um, this is a very kind of different kind of movie. Different kind of movie, and I found myself in a sort of different. Oh no, be like this. Just got a hot plate. Just really finds you a cup of tea, mate. Sorry, don't mind me. You're doing great. You're doing. No, we're all boys, so I'm sure there's a, a certain element of uh, competition. Um, you know, I had to just relinquish any sense of, of that because I'm English and don't really know much about guns. And that certainly uh, doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben Affleck. Um, no, sorry. <laughs> It's, I love Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with some extras, and um, I'm better. I liked it. <laughs> so th these are former special ops. Folks in this movie, and yeah. and you, there's a there's a stunt we heard that you were kind of tricked into doing. Well, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> there was sort of a bit of divide and conquer. We uh, JC. There was a sequence where we had to swim across a river, but it was deemed the current was too strong, so we were going to CGI the river in the background and swim across a swimming pool with a pack of mules. And I guess he went <laughs> one by one and asked everyone, and Ben said, "Absolutely no way," you know, <laughs> Ben Affleck, and then yeah. Oscar, and everyone. Apparently, so Garrett and I. Uh, with the two idiots that said yes, but I had not anticipated how taxing this was going to be. Is right. it, are mules good swimmers? Excellent swimmers. No. You would not think so, right? No, you would think they'd be very, 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 uh, very dense way and that they would just sink. Yes. No, they're very, very nifty in the water, but they're also pack animals, so they like to stay together. So the problem was I went second, and Garrett's mule got in and just said, all right, this is wonderful. I'm having a lovely time when Hawaii is very hot. And he just made a beeline for the other side of the pool. And the mule that I was with, who we was supposed to leave a little bit, decided his friend went, so he wanted to go too. So Garrett sort of elegantly swam across with his mule, and I got dragged across <laughs> by my mule. So unfortunately, uh, and it was one of those things where really it's sort of practical. You, you know, you want to try to look good when you're going to yeah. be seen by 100 million people or something. So says, you know, could we do a second? can take but everyone so I don't look like a total idiot but everyone was so nervous about doing this stunt they said no we got it once everyone's safe that's it yeah so. right. and, and they yeah. you looked yeah. great you looked like yeah, yeah. yeah if you could rob any one of the cast who would you most want to rob and what would you steal from them the cast was definitely him Ben Affleck, Affleck obviously <laughs> yeah. why obviously Affleck and then what, do you, what would you take from him because uh, it's been revealed to both of us that he actually has um, walls in his house that are stacked with money <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we were supposed to say that on national TV, I think I just but... heard them laughing <laughs> <laughs> what would you steal from Ben 
Um, his jacket. My jacket. It looks He's like oh, it almost looks like jacket. you kind of stole this jacket. If I'm being honest with you. How yeah. interesting. Hmm. Yeah. I like the town a lot. I mean, I was Argo, Gone Baby Gone. I, you know, really, really yeah, spectacular yeah. stuff. You know, Charlie is, you know, as a person. Yeah. I'm going to. <laughs> Hard no. to pick a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna help you. Come on. <laughs> We're all waiting. I would say, you know. Uh, <laughs> did I tell you I saw the City of Zed? Oh no, you did. Yes, I was quite good. After I hadn't seen it initially, and then I I got to know him, and obviously I have Sons of Anarchy, he's great, and that was the thing that everybody knows. And I like the King Arthur movie too. He's a first class actor. You want, you want to split one? Oh. So I have a bite of one. This is like the hostess. Where's this, this one from? Yeah, this is like you the hostess cupcake of uh, of Columbia. Get involved, we have. This is mm. part of our catering. Is that, was that every day on Narcos? Got and uh, Triple Frontier. Yeah, yeah. So fluffy. Yeah, well, artificial. I can whisper something to you behind oh, Oscar's head. Angel cake. The oh, plastic. Really, really delicious. Did you call it Pedro cake? No. Art men who understood that you weren't, you couldn't get anything accomplished unless you worked together as a, as a, as a unit. And I think that's a good lesson for you know all kinds of things in life. Pass the smell test. They're really good when they're a little warm. What is this? Mm -hmm. you go for it? Goat tongue. Oh. Ooh, no. No. It's got a weird, like, sweet and savory thing, thing or something. I don't know. Yeah. What a refined palate. <laughs> <laughs> you just eat this like this? I don't need any water? Or... This? It does taste like maybe it goes in hot water. Yeah. <laughs> How long do we get to do this for? <laughs> uh. No, you've got some outside. Yeah, I've got some outside. I'm eating it. I'm eating it. This is good. Ooh, now we're talking. A little coconut sticky rice? I just want to say that I've, I've, I've tried all these before. <laughs> well, that was fun. You know, uh, and this connection that you guys have with with Fifty Shades of Grey, where you turned down that role, you were in the role, and then you left the role. Did you, uh, obviously, you discussed this at some point. I don't know Not if we did. Really? Yeah. And we, we, I mean, we, we, discussed, we discussed it, you know, we did the, in Edwards, hindsight we did. Uh, discussing, you know, just, maybe I shouldn't say what we discussed. <laughs> I, mean, I don't remember, but from the look on your face, I think that's probably prudent. <laughs> you know, I ho the hope is that the audience is already in for the, you know, that you as an audience member have, have sort of sanctioned this as right. ethically appropriate or morally, you know, understandable, and then all of a sudden you have to make the decisions with us. Right. Garrett, did you want to add to that? No, it doesn't get any better. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Obviously, we've got the heist element of this film. Um, I was asking JC if you guys were in a heist yourselves, what the role of you would be? Because obviously, you've got the lookout, you've got the getaway driver, the guy who plans it. Mm -hmm. He said he's a bit of a chicken, so he's going to be on lookout. I think I would be the hothead who makes who makes a mistake and makes everything go awry. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who's like, no, don't shoot a guard. <laughs> yeah, right. that's me. Yeah. <laughs> Shot the guard. All right. How about you, Charlie? Who what are you going to be? Um, I don't know. Maybe you know. I I, I was <laughs> I was gonna say I'd be the smooth talker until I failed to formulate my answer in any sort of coherent way. Um, but you know, there's always the one guy that they sort of send in to seduce the girl, and I quite like you know after 15 years in a committed relationship, I quite like the idea of that. I didn't know there was that role. And yeah. I, I would all volunteer for that too. All of a sudden, there's the person who just sleeps with women. And yeah. Ice cream. Yeah. You never seen the A team? <laughs> oh. I knew there was base, but I didn't. I didn't miss, wow. miss that part. Yeah, you could invent anything. Mm, put me out. Oh wow. Well, How about I'm the guy who stays home? <laughs> um, okay. And Newcastle versus Everton. Everton, unknown. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Everton. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Stan, Newcastle, obviously. Newca I mean, Newcastle 27 nil. Come on now, you know football better than that, and we're never going to see that ever in our lifetime. Okay, then 7 nil. You should go for Everton. Then, Everton, right? to, uh, to make up for calling them. Which was totally your spot. I did not mean to start a internet oh, controversy. Uh, I know nothing about uh, soccer at all, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna pick Everton in an upset, uh, two to one. Amazing. You, have you got teams? 
you guess, I guess, uh, Newcastle. Yes, let's go with that. I mean, I, you know, that was the religion. You know, they call Newcastle, St. James's Park, the church in Newcastle, because it, it really is the religion up there. And I'm going to give you a sincere one. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan, uh, an enormous fan of Ben as, as, as a director. <laughs> <laughs> it is a terrible answer. But, but I, but I uh, you know, I, I went out of my way to, uh, to force him to uh, give me as much advice about the transition from acting to direction as possible. He's very generously... Uh, you know, I'm gonna stop. Come on, give me a fight. The truth is, I, I actually, you know, I expected, I knew all, all, all these other actors, the, the other four guys were, I knew their work and I respected them, but I didn't uh, really expect to be, you know, so personally won over. Uh, such a great time with Charlie and love working with them so much. And now I feel like I just want to look for another excuse to, uh, to well, work with them. But I don't I'm, like being upstaged I'm, in the way that I, I feel. I'm available, you know. Next <laughs> Not really. You, next time you're directing, I'm just saying. Right. You know, he's got also a great talent. I, I watched some videos and you know that he can whistle like, like, like a, bird. a bird. Yeah, he can do it exactly. He can sound exactly like a bird. Can you, can you do it? I've always wanted to be in a boy band. I mean, this is like being in a boy band. You guys were actually in a boy band. Uh, <laughs> didn't unravel the question whatsoever. No. 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 Keep on barreling right <laughs> So what kind of roles do you think you would play in a boy band? Ben. <laughs> so uh, you were in a boy band. band. Uh, what function I would you think play? I'm a little, I'd probably be the manager. Right. And not nearly so pretty as these boys here. <clears throat> or Pedro. I think it's really a result of Pedro's fantasy. You know, a wish fulfillment that he really uh, feels like he should have been in a boy band. It was overlooked for being in a boy band. Right. I think he's, you might have mentioned that that was one of his childhood dreams. And now he's uh, taken us all along uh, for, for the ride in these situations, yeah. unfortunately. He used to say things like that and then not show up for the interview where you have to answer for it. Right, right. <laughs> we were all friends uh, before the movie, and now we're not friends anymore. <laughs> usually accuse people of making me angry. <laughs> That's a good stress reliever. <laughs> and it really seems to uh, relieve my stress. As long as there's people around for me to be extremely hostile towards, <laughs> then, then that usually works. I, 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 suggest, I suggest you all try it. <laughs> we had a great team dynamic, and, and we had Pedro. <laughs>